Instagram at the same time. Hello, everybody. And I'm so um, happy to be at the end of Lent. I wish it was the end of our, our, our Corona Lent. Some ways it doesn't feel like Lent is over, does it? But today is Easter. Hallelujah. He is risen. And we have a lot to reflect on here. I want to get back to my family and I don't want to hang out on here too long so I just have a, a really short reflection for today um, and it's kind of what I've been leading up to with with Good Friday and Holy Saturday so Good Friday you know really sort of set the stage here with how real his resurrection has to be and 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 his death first of all and um, if you've uh, if you had a chance to you know, a really cool thing about this, uh, it's its trying to find the silver lining, right? But the cool thing about watching Mass on TV and live streaming the Masses is you get to pick from all these different great priests. So, like, never before has it been like, ah, who do I feel like going to Mass with today? Uh, Father Mike Schmidt, yeah, did that on, uh, I think, on Friday. T today we were like, oh, let's go, uh, let's check out Bishop Barron's Mass. So, that was, uh, that was really cool. Um... And Bishop Barron was talking about this in his homily for Easter Sunday. He's like, we have to remember that the resurrection really happened. Like, this is a real event in history. It's not a myth. It's not something that's just a nice story. Jesus wasn't just like a prophet or, or, or a teacher. But these are, these are like real events. And if they're real events and it shakes up our whole life, then it needs to change everything. So that was Good Friday. Holy Saturday talked about like, Letting Christ enter into the darkness of our own hearts, the places where light has not shone in our own unconscious. And here's what I want to talk about moving forward on Easter Sunday. If the resurrection is real, if everything is different now, if everything is transformed, everything is transformed. And here we are in the middle of quarantine, and we're like, I don't know what's transformed. What's really transformed? We can be transformed. Here's the good news. And so here's the, here's the quick action giveaway that you can do and you can take this with you is to, to turn away the downtrodden, downcast face, to get rid of those sullen faces. It doesn't mean it matter if it gets worse. If it gets worse in this world, I'm pretty sure it's going to get worse in this world in one way, shape, or form. And for whether it's for you individually and me or the global situation, who knows? We're all going to die. It's going to get worse for us. But we have a victory. We have a victor. We have a king who lives, who conquered death, and we get to join his team. We are already one and saved and with him, and we're united to him. And so everything is different. We have nothing to worry about. It's going to get worse, but it's always better. It'll never be bad for us again because... Christ conquers. Christ has won. The victory is his. So here's what I want you to do. Practically speaking, practically speaking right now, I want you to think about it. Circumstances look dire right now. The quarantine situation, like what's going to happen? The world will never be the same. Christ was never the same either. And just like those wounds were in his resurrected body so that Thomas could probe them, we will never be... Uh, different we will never be the same we will always be different we will always be marked by the wounds of what the world is going through right now but how can we embrace the resurrection in our own lives here's the question for you of the day here's my easter sunday question for you you took it seriously you spent at least 10 minutes going into your unconscious into your subconscious spending time in the deep silence of your own heart to figure out where do you need the light of christ where are you going to go with it. What is transformed? Here's the message for Easter Sunday. I want you to think very practically about this. Whatever this quarantine situation has brought you to in your own sense of self, your own understanding, how are you going to let it change you and make you a better person? That's the question of Easter Sunday quarantine edition 2020. How are you going to let this suffering and death of the quarantine situation, the coronavirus pandemic of this world, lead to your own personal redemption and resurrection. As you come out of it, going into 2020 further ahead, how are you gonna be different this time next year because of what you discovered about yourself during this time in this darkness? What do you actually need to change about yourself? I need to change things about myself. I've been confronted my impatience on a much deeper level during this time of, of isolation and quarantine. 
I've confronted my, my, my sense of self-sustaining. Like, I'm the one. I've got to do all this stuff. I got to, you know, create this business and I have to keep my family sustained and I have to keep food on the table and I have to prepare for the end of the world and I have to do this stuff. That's what I've need. I've realized. Self-sustaining mentality, which I say, yeah, God, I know you're there, but I got this. Okay, that's for me. Impatience and, and, and actually being humble and realizing that he's the one who does everything. Though that's mine. Those I'm sharing them with you. What are yours? And I want to know like specifically how are you going to work on it? What are you going to do to change things up? I'm going to work on my schedule. I'm looking at it. I'm going deeper into it so that even when I'm not quarantined anymore, I'm going to have a different mentality about my schedule and I have different things of talking with my wife about how to keep each other in check. How can she help me when I'm starting to be impatient? Real things, real life. This is the real stuff of real conversion. Let the resurrection mean something for you in your life. How is it going to change your life? Let's let this be real. Let's let his suffering not go to waste. Let's not let our suffering go to waste. Let's unite our suffering to his and let his resurrection be our resurrection and let it be redemptive for us in our life. How are you going to change because of this coronavirus, quarantine, pandemic situation? How are you going to be a better person next month, two months, three months from now, a year from now at this time? Who are you going to be and how are you going to let this have been the, cata the catalyst to catapult you to that better version of yourself. Happy Easter. God bless you.